The Philippine country is blessed with different species of edible fruits rich in nutrients that our body needs. It's something that we should be thankful for because we have food that we get from fruits, and it is good to be proud of and let it be known around the world. However, there are still many more fruits that are not known to local people. Today, let's find out some of the Philippine rarest fruits, only here in Nature's Best PH. Subscribe now and get notified. Gumi Han is a fruit similar to jackfruit, durian, and meringue, but a little bit smaller than the said fruit. The unripe Gumi Han is green in color, while reddish yellow when it is ripe. Gumi Han looks messy boy's hair in appearance which is longer than meringue and jackfruit. To harvest Gumi Han from the tree, you need to be extra careful not to fall it too hard on the ground, just to prevent the soft fruit from being bruised. The fruit pulp is sweet and is believed to be rich in vitamins and other health benefits. Gumihan grows in the shady forest, particularly in the Bicol region. Have you heard of the fruit named tagback? Well, tagback plant belongs to the category of rhizomes, similar to ginger and bamboo. It grows up to 2 to 4 meters along the marshland or somewhere near the waters. It is considered as one of the most beneficial plants and the subject of research for medicinal purposes. However, tagback fame is not as like many other fruits. It is still unrecognized due to its rareness. The stem of tagback is good for arthritis when boiled and used for drinking. The small fruit is commonly oblong in shape and has a hard covering. Inside the covering are the black seeds densely packed together, and coated with white fibers, which give a sweeter taste. The Cadman tree or elephant apple, which is scientifically known as Dillonia philippinensis, is an endemic tree to the Philippines. Cadman grows to be a large tree in the forest with strong branches and dark green leaves. Cadman produces big white with red flowers that bloom beautifully. From the flower is the small green round fruit. The most interesting thing about this tree is the trace of the flower that still remains inside the fruit and the pulp inside which formed a twirling spirally in pattern, making it look more attractive. The soft, fleshy, Green and edible pulps taste sour. It can be eaten raw, better with salt, or can be used for cooking. The province of Sorsogon in Bicol region has an endemic fruit which is known locally as hajis. It looks like a cherry, but bigger than that. Hajis fruit is red in color but white on the inside. It is a sappy red that can stain your cloth. The leaves taste sour as well as the fruit. The fruit is best to eat with salt or sugar. If you once tasted this fruit, or are even familiar with this, it will make your mouth water every time you see or hear about this fruit. It is often found in the forest and grows in shady or humid places. Aratilis is often found in the forest and is a common food of birds and bats. It is a kind of tree that is very common and native in the Philippines. In fact, it is also native to Mexico and Bolivia. To identify Aratilis, it is a small but fast-growing tree with hairy and sticky leaves. The flowers are very small and white in color. The fruits look like cherry, which is red in color. It is believed to be rich in health benefits and was studied by then 16-year-old Filipino scientist as a possible cure for diabetes on year 2019. Her name is Maria Isabel Lazen. Thanks to this Filipino scientist for her extraordinary and exemplary works in the medical and pharmaceutical field.
Bignay is one of the rarest edible fruit in the Philippines. It is also considered as one of the smallest edible fruit. The fruit is similar to grapes and light grapes, it is used for wine making. Bignay is native to Southeast Asia and Northern Australia. The unripe bignay tastes sour but sweet when ripe. It is said to be a good of nutrients. Similar to haggis, balagong or lipot is prone to cloth staining. It grows from a little seed to a very big and tall tree. The unripe balagong fruit is red in color while black when ripe. It is a mouth-watering fruit with have both sweetness and sourness in taste. It is better to eat with salt, or especially with sugar to add sweet flavor. Malabathricum, or what we call tungo tungo, in Philippines is a kind of plant that is naturally grown in the forest where there is enough sunlight. This tree grows small but has many branches. This small tree produces a flower that blooms purple. A very beautiful flower with no scent. Notice the little bulb under the flower that grows from it over time. It grows even more as the out of season of the flowers begins, just proof that the fruit is about to ripen. The fruit is probably ripe when it bursts out, meaning it is ready to eat. The fruit is considered as belong to the category of wild berries. The fruit is sweet, and it is called tungo tungo after the very small insect that is too difficult to see by the naked eye. This insect clings to every corner of our body. The Malabathricum fruit is seedy, and while eating, you will feel the tiny seeds in your mouth like red mite insects. A Puyumatar bush passion fruit is a type of a flowering tropical vine plant. It is a very rare plant that grows in the wild. It grows spontaneously in places where the soil and temperature are suitable for them. The fruit of Kuyumat is too small, and is covered with sticky hairs, but a very sweet fruit similar to the common passion fruit. The Batuan tree is one of the valuable trees in the forest because of its size and height. The tree lives for very long years and is important to our nature. The branches of this tree can be used as firewood without needing to be cut it down. It has branches that dry up and spontaneously fall to the ground. This tree is big and tall when it grows and produces small round fruit. Like a common fruit, the fruit is green when unripe and yellow when ripe. It tastes sour when unripe and also sweet when ripe. However, it is difficult to get its fruit up of the tree because it is very dangerous to climb it. You can only get it from those that fall on the ground. However, you are lucky enough if you find a younger tree which is not that too tall. The Batuan is one of those different big trees because it can provide food through its fruit. All the fruits mentioned in this video are only some of those rarest fruits in the Philippines and there are still more fruits not included in the list.